Imagine standing on the edge of a vast alien world. The ground beneath your feet is a rusty red, scarred by ancient rivers and craters that whisper secrets of a time long gone. The sky above is a hazy blur, thin and cold, swirling with faint. Dust storms that dance like ghosts across the horizon. This is Mars, the red planet, a place that has haunted our dreams for centuries. And right now, a lone traveler, a machine called Perseverance is roaming its surface, capturing moments so breathtaking they make you feel like you could reach out and touch the Martian soil. This is no ordinary story. This is the tale of humanity's relentless quest to unravel the mysteries of another world, a journey that began decades ago and is now reaching its most thrilling chapter. Picture this. July 2020. A rocket pierces the sky above Earth, carrying a six-wheeled rover named Perseverance. For over six months, it hurtles through the void of space, covering millions of miles with nothing but the stars for company. Its destination? A planet that's been a beacon of curiosity since humans first gazed at its reddish glow in the night. Sky. Mars has always felt close, yet impossibly far. A neighbor that holds the key to questions we've asked for generations. Could life have existed there? Could it still? And one day, could we call it home? Perseverance is our ambassador, built to seek answers where no human has yet set foot. Now let's fast forward to February 18th, 2021. The rover is about to face its greatest challenge, landing on Mars. This isn't just any landing, it's a heart-pounding, nerve-shredding event NASA calls the Seven Minutes of Terror. Why? Because in those seven minutes, Perseverance has to slow down from a blistering 13,000 miles per hour to a gentle touchdown on the Martian surface, all on its own, with no real-time help from Earth. The distance between our planet and Mars means there's a delay in communication. By the time Mission Control gets a signal that something's gone wrong, it's already too late. Everything has to work perfectly. As the rover plunges into Mars' thin, carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere, it's like a meteor streaking through the sky. The heat shield glows red hot, protecting the precious cargo inside. Then, at just the right moment, a massive parachute unfurls, snapping open to slow the descent. But that's only the beginning. Powerful thrusters kick in, stabilizing the spacecraft. And then comes the part that sounds like pure science fiction. A sky crane, a hovering platform that lowers perseverance to the ground with nylon cables, like a cosmic puppet on strings. The moment those wheels touch the dusty soil of Jezero Crater, the cables are cut, and the sky crane flies off to crash safely in the distance. Perseverance is alone, but it's alive, and it's ready to make history. What makes this landing even more extraordinary is that we got to see it. For the first time ever, high-definition cameras captured every heart-stopping second. The parachute billowing against the Martian sky, the heat shield tumbling away, the rover dangling from the sky crane inches from the ground. These weren't blurry, grainy images like we'd seen from earlier missions. These were crystal clear, vivid moments that brought Mars to life for millions of people watching back on Earth. It wasn't just a triumph of engineering. It was a gift to humanity. A chance to witness one of the boldest feats in space exploration, as if we were there. But why Jezero Crater? Why did scientists pick this spot out of all the places on Mars? Because Jezero is special. Billions of years ago, it was a lake, fed by rivers that carved channels through the landscape. Where there's water, there's the possibility of life. The crater's delta, a fan-shaped deposit of sediment is like a time capsule. It could hold traces of ancient microbes preserved in the rocks for eons. Perseverance's mission is to hunt for those clues, to scrape and drill and collect samples that one day will be brought back to Earth. Imagine that, holding a piece of Mars in your hands, analyzing it in a lab, searching for signs that we're not alone in the universe. The rover isn't just a geologist, though. It's a filmmaker, too. With 23 cameras, many shooting in stunning 4K resolution, Perseverance is showing us Mars like never before. The images are so sharp, you can see every pebble, every ridge, every shadow cast by the weak Martian sun. The colors are mesmerizing, 
Not just the rusty red we associate with Mars, but golden yellows, deep browns, even hints of gray and green in certain rocks. These hues aren't just beautiful, they're scientific gold. Different minerals reflect light in unique ways. And by studying these colors, researchers can piece together the planet's history. Was it once warm and wet? Did it have oceans? Could it have supported life? The footage Perseverance sends back isn't just for show. It's a tool for engineers, too. Those videos of the landing weren't just thrilling. They were a masterclass in what went right and what could be better. Every frame was studied. Every movement analyzed. How did the parachute deploy? Did the thrusters fire at the right time? How did the sky crane handle the unpredictable Martian winds? This data is already shaping the next generation of Mars exploration, making future landings safer and more precise. Because Mars doesn't make it easy. Its atmosphere is thin, only about 1% as dense as Earth's. So there's little air to slow a spacecraft down. Dust storms can whip up at a moment's notice obscuring sensors and shifting the ground. Every mission to Mars is a gamble, but Perseverance is teaching us how to beat those odds. Let's step back for a moment to appreciate how far we've come. The dream of exploring Mars isn't new. It started in the earliest days of space travel, when we could barely get satellites into orbit. The red planet was a speck in our telescopes, a mystery that seemed untouchable. The first attempts to reach it were humbling. Orbiters failed. Landers crashed. But we kept trying. 1997. A tiny rover named Sojourner became the first to roam Mars's surface during the Pathfinder mission. It was the size of a microwave, but it changed everything. For 83 days, it trundled along, sending back data about Martian rocks and sparking imaginations worldwide. Suddenly, exploring another planet wasn't just a fantasy. It was real. Then came spirit and opportunity in 2004, twin rovers that redefined what we thought was possible. They were built to last a few months, but opportunity kept going for 15 years, covering the distance of a marathon runner. These rovers found evidence of liquid water, proof that Mars wasn't always the desert it is today. Each discovery built on the last, leading us to Perseverance, the most advanced rover ever, sent to another world. It's not just a machine. It's the culmination of decades of curiosity, failure, and triumph. Every scratch on its wheels, every line of code in its systems, carries the hopes of scientists, engineers, and people like you who've watched this. Story unfold. Right now, Perseverance is entering the most critical phase of its mission, the search for life. It's been exploring Jezero Crater for over four years, and recently, it captured something extraordinary, an image that might just be the clearest hint yet of potential signs of ancient life. This isn't confirmation. Not yet. But it's a moment that could rewrite our understanding of the universe. If Mars once hosted life, even microscopic life, it means life might not be unique to Earth. It could be out there, scattered across the stars, waiting for us to find it. That thought alone is enough to give you goosebumps.